my next tutorial. This is Miguel Barroso and today we'll be learning how to use the cloth simulator to create a flag on Blender 2.66. For the record, I'm also known as Cap and Observant. Uh, this is the fourth time I've recorded this tutorial and <laughs> well, let's just say that I kept forgetting to hit the actual uh, record button. So, here we go. Uh, without further ado, to get started, uh, there's an add-on that works out really well uh, for what we're going to be doing here. It's called Import Image as uh, Plane. And if you don't have that, easy place to find it under User Preference. Type in Image. And just check that off if you haven't already. Okay. And uh, for the record, the images I'm be, I'll be using, I got off of a website. It's, the name escapes me now. I will have the link in the description, so take a look. It's all public domain, so you're more than welcome to use it in whatever project you'd like to. Okay, so to do that, excuse me, I'm going to File, Import, Images as Planes, U.S. Flag. That's what we're going to be using today. All right, let's rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. It is very small. Size it by 75 and go to texture view. There we go, the American flag. And for the record, I've put in uh, it's just simply a, a floor, if you will, a ground. Gave it some collision in physics, and that's it. So what I want to do is I want to subdivide my plane here. I'm going to go into edit mode, hit W to subdivide. Let me just pull up this menu here and this will go up to 10. Okay. Okay, so so here we are. Now let's give it the cloth uh, physics. So under physics, hit cloth. And what we want to do is we want to hit Alt-A. And it's going to do its job. Right now what it's doing is it's creating its animation. There we go, piece of cloth. That's what it is. And we got to really sexy this thing up because we got nothing going on here. Just a crumpled flag. What we want to do is we want this to act as if it was a flag and it was blowing in the wind. So to do that, we need to pin several vertices down to create that illusion. So I'm going to hit tab to go into uh, edit mode. And I'm going to check off the uppermost and bottommost vertice on the left hand side. And I want to go under object data vertex groups. I want to create a new vertex group and I want to call that corner. Screens that I have it to give it also a sense of direction, so left corner. Assign. Make sure you hit that, otherwise you've done nothing. Let's go back to the physics tab. Under pinning. Cloth pinning. You check that off and then you see that left corner. You want to check off under cloth collision, self collision. This way the flag won't wrap through itself and just look terrible. So let's hit Alt A. Okay, so you also see these little squares right here. What we didn't do is we didn't check off under the shading. We should check that off and make it smooth. That'll look a lot better. As you can see, there's obviously no wind controlling it, just gravity took it down. In a moment, we'll show you how to add a force of wind. Okay, so let's hit Alt A to stop this. And we're going to add the force now. Here we go. Shift A. Look at that. Force field. I'm going to pop up to wind. And I'm going to just drag this over a bit. All right. Just get this other menu off, and I want to rotate it on the Y axis by 90 degrees. Now, if you notice, I'm just going to bring this up to the top. 
everything is directly pointed on the x-axis so it's not going to work as efficiently if this was turned out just a hair that'll work much better the wind will actually blow around it and really work with the mesh since it, again it's a two-dimensional object it's not going to work properly now let's also give the uh, this empty whatever you want to call it uh, some physics uh, level of strength and the level of strength I'm going to go with is 3000 let's see how that works out all day oops excuse me uh, I didn't mention this earlier whenever you're working with cloth or uh, a cloth like material when you go into edit mode and then out of edit mode any animation that's been created it disappears so again we change some things around I want it to look much better with the wind. We change some things around. Now I want the wind effect to be part of this. So let's see what happens. There you go. Look at that. That's how you do it, guys and gals. And you can just pop a flagpole right over here, butt it up right next to those edges, actually, next to those vertices. and make it look like a flag there you go that's how you create a flag in blender 2.66 I hope you learned something there's a ton of options you can work with in that cloth uh, simulator physics tab have a ball with it so if you like what you saw give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and keep blending much appreciated guys have a great day